Parliament's Northern Army, led by Thomas Fairfax, successfully stormed the city of Selby, and continued upriver to meet the Covenanters, at what was called the capital of the North, the city of York. When the two allies had met at the gates of the city on April 22, they were just three days too late. The Marquis of Newcastle, had heard news of Selby, and seeing the enemy's strategy, had reinforced York. At the same time, King Charles sent his nephew, Prince Rupert, with a large army to relieve York. A letter to Rupert, by King Charles, read, The Allies attacked late in the day, to catch the enemy off guard. The right wing of cavalry, led by Fairfax, was bogged down in their attack, by the marshy landscape. The Royalist Reserve Cavalry, charged to the front line, to aid their infantry. Cromwell and the Ironsides, overwhelmed Rupert and the Royalist Cavalry. David Leslie, for the Covenanters, flanked the Royalists, forcing their entire right wing to flee. However, Goring did the same for the Royalists, on the other side of the battlefield. The success of the Royalist left horse, caused a premature sense of loss for the Allies. Many of the Scottish infantry under Charles Lumsden, retreated, before ever advancing. <laughs> Thomas Fairfax, and a small number of his horsemen, unclad their Allied insignia, to move behind the enemy. Fairfax, offered Cromwell reconnaissance. Ironsides crossed the field of battle, and surrounded Charles Lucas' men, causing their hasty retreat. William Cavendish, the Marquis of Newcastle, led a regiment of infantry called, the White Coats. Most of these valiant men, refused quarter, and were slain on this summer evening, in 1644. Cavendish, along with other senior royalist commanders, were so indignant of their failure, they exiled themselves from their country. Cromwell and Fairfax marched on, to secure theirs. Yeah. 